I'm well, how are you? Uh, I'm very well. Um, I wanted to ask this question for years and now it just slipped my mind. Okay. So, <laughs> no, I got it, I got it. Um, so, obviously, this show has created a giant base of family and fans. And I wanted to know, during filming, when, when did you realize what type of effect the show was going to have on people? You know, saving their lives, making them you know, feel better about themselves, etc. Um, doing these really was, uh, was the eye-opener, I think, to what we were tapping into, so to speak. You know, because you do a show, and t television shows and, and films get made every day all over the world. And you're, you're on set and it is an army of people that is making this happen and everybody's heads down and they're doing their, they're, they're doing their role. You know, the, the, the grips are, are setting up stuff and running cable and the electrics are, are setting up lights and, and camera guys are, are you know, taking out lenses and setting up the cameras and rehearsing shots and the actors are in the back, they're rehearsing their lines. And, the ADs are looking at the schedule, look at the, everybody's doing something. Um, very rare do you get to pick your head up and see what doing that is providing other people. Uh, so the fact that we get to come here and I get to look, at, I, look I get to look you guys in the eyes and see that something I did, uh, a, a craft that I, I've, I've spent years crafting, who's making a difference, or at least impacting you in any degree, is one of the most gratifying things that I've, I've received in life. And so it wasn't until these things really started taking off that I was like, oh, oh okay, this, this matters. Uh, there's a saying on, on set, and I've said this before, there's a saying on, on a lot of film sets, like, hey, you know, when things start going crazy and people start freaking out and it's, you know, uh, drama. There's a saying, it's like, hey, we're not curing cancer here. Take it easy. And it wasn't until somebody who had just finished battling cancer came up to me and said, I watched you every day of my treatment, and I, this show helped inspire me to keep fighting. And I was like, yeah. And I went back to our crew, and I said, guys, we're not curing cancer, but you know what we are doing? We're doing something that might inspire somebody to fight the hell out of it. And that's important. Um, and what year that was, I don't know, but it, it was it was when these things really started picking up that 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 hit me, and that was that was a big impact on what we do and why we do it. So thank you. All right, one last one. Gotta love Jersey. It's a folk boy. Like, right here. I got your last one. Right in here. All right, it's here. Stand up. We got a mic coming for you. Jersey. Right here. Gotta love it. Which is funny because I'm not even from here. So. Of course not. But you're embracing the culture. Oh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> What's so, up? So it is clear that Dean has a strong bond with Cass. Mm -hmm. um, but he doesn't, you know, he's a man of action. He's not a man of words that, you know, tell him, you know, things that he might tell him. If he were to write a letter to Cass about things that he appreciates that, you know, he is what he does for not, you know, for Dean mostly, but for everybody else, for Sam too, what do you think Dean would say? He wouldn't write anything. <laughs> Because Dean doesn't do, doesn't do that, nor do I. Um, <laughs> I've gotten so lazy now. I'm doing like the, the voice text messages. <laughs> you know, <those> like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't even text anymore. I'm just like, hey, listen, um, I'm running late. <laughs> Dean would be, Dean, Dean would leave a voicemail for Cass and be like, hey. Uh, you're appreciated. I'm not going to get into it, but just know that you're appreciated. 
I gotta go. How do you stop this thing? So it's like real life with you on Twitter, like the. It's, it's real life. See again, Dean, right here. I got. It. It's, it's not that far off. It's not a stretch. Uh, I have so many jokes that I could just throw me under the bus right now, but I'm not going to. Uh, stay tuned because later I might. Bye guys, thank you.